with y'all. You know where we are. We're at the gym. Ozark Iron to be specific. Crystal's behind me about to jump on the Stairmaster. We are about to kill some legs. Hang tight. y'all workout in the books crystal and i are all sweaty workout was kind of different some new exercises compliments a danny vega aka keto counterculture aka sweetie pie sugar lumps take care buddy all right y'all all right y'all i just had a master master awesome it didn't even make sense let's try this one more time all right y'all I just had a amazing podcast with Sean Wells. He was on there. We were talking about all kinds of things. I had so many like questions that I wanted to ask him. And we didn't even get to those because we were so deep in other content. But it was freaking amazing. Far, far exceeded my expectations. We're going to do another podcast next week because there are just so many other questions I have. Um, this podcast will probably go live next week. The one that we record next week will go live the week after more than likely, but um, yeah, just really, really good podcast. So 
get ready for that. Um, we talked a lot about the big picture of keto, kind of like the motivational factor behind keto, its effect for like you know cancer patients, um, Alzheimer's, epilepsy, dementia, just really, really great conversation. So I'm very excited about that. Um, right now, I'm headed to Wright's Barbecue. I'm going to have some barbecue with Crystal and then a buddy of mine, Jason Green, and his wife. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. He actually is one of my good friend's friends, and he started doing keto, so he's got some questions for me. We're just going to eat barbecue and talk keto, so I'm excited about that. Also, we're going to touch on reverse dieting today because I told you I was going to talk about that yesterday, so get ready. We're about to get barbecue. Crystal loves barbecue. Every time we get barbecue, she does a barbecue dance. Is that the barbecue dance? I don't know. Barbecue time. All right, y'all, we just got done eating some barbecue. It was so freaking good. I got one pound of fatty brisket. That's all I've eaten yet today thus far. Crystal, we got a quarter pound, mm -hmm. or half a pound half of fatty pound. brisket. Now we're headed home. Didn't bring the camera out while we were eating. Um, just kind of out of respect for them. Just kind of have a good conversation without the camera. So headed home right now. I still have a little bit of macros left. Gonna get that yogurt and um, see what happens next. All right, y'all, we are at Whole Foods right now. Crystal's gonna get some yogurt. She's craving some of that Kite Hill yogurt. I'm gonna eat some yogurt tonight. That's what I'm gonna fill the rest of my macros with. And we are gonna talk about reverse dieting. Let's do it. All right, y'all, quick disclaimer. These bottles suck. I bought one and I was drinking out of it. Dropped it in my gym bag at the gym. The whole thing exploded. So let me save you some time. Don't get one of these bottles. I've really been digging these Mountain Valley Lime Sparkling Waters. Crystal gets the berry, but they're both really good. So I've been drinking these, and then I reuse the bottle, put more water in there, and then I drink it out of glass, and it just tastes better in my opinion. Alrighty, y'all. Um, just left Whole Foods. Have our waters in hand. So refreshing. All right, so reverse dieting. This is a very important topic. A lot of people are impatient with reverse dieting. Do not be impatient with reverse dieting. When you drop your calories, first of all, what is reverse dieting? So reverse dieting is basically the inverse of dieting down, all right? When you diet your calories down, you go into a deficit, caloric restrict, um, and then you reverse out of that, or the inverse of that, that is called reverse dieting, right? Correctamundo. Correctamundo. Crystal halfway did some reverse dieting did after not. her contest prep. I sucked butt at it, and I regret it fully. Why was it hard for you? Because it was. You flip that switch, mm -hmm. and then lights out, game over, you start putting on body fat. Yep. And I, like, I gained fat so quickly. I definitely had way too many binging experiences. I ate way too much on a daily basis and really, really screwed myself over. Um, so I could have stayed leaner, um, but I didn't because I didn't reverse diet. I didn't do it the proper way. Um, I gave in to my cravings and my wants and lost control. She didn't reverse diet, now I got a thick chick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble the rest of the night, y'all. He also doesn't have a chick now, so. <laughs> Alright, so in all seriousness though, when you drop your calories that low, your body becomes a sponge, okay? It's going to be hyper-responsive to anything you put back into. It's going to soak it up. Now, you can use it to your advantage, leverage that time, and put on some really quality muscle. I mean, really good quality muscle in a very short period of time. A lot of people put on their most muscle, like the most muscle, in their off-season, right there in that window of time when they're reverse dieting because their body's primed for growth. Now, if you binge eat, if you just go off the rails, let your emotions get the better of you and you start eating everything in sight, even if it's keto foods, y'all, she didn't go off on eating carbs. Mm -hmm. She kept it keto, but she kind of went in surplus and excess on the calories, didn't really be strategic with it. Your body's primed for growth and that can take the shape of fat gain if you're not careful. Yep. So, how to properly reverse diets. First and foremost, treat the reverse diet 
as the second half of your contest prep, of your deficit, of your caloric restriction. It's not over when you reach that goal and you start increasing calories. Like, that's the halfway point. Treat the reverse dieting just as, you know, important as the first part, the contest prep, you know, the calorie restriction, right? Mm -hmm. Can I give one piece of advice? You can give more than one if you want. Okay. Wow, that truck. Um, my one piece of advice is to never allow yourself to have one freebie day. Don't have one freebie meal. Don't eat until you're full and overflowing. Just don't do it because as soon as you feel that feeling, you're going to want it again and again and again and again. And that's truly what screwed me up is the day of my competition, I allowed myself to get completely full on as much meat as I wanted. And then I shoved in a bunch of brownie, keto brownie. And then after that, I literally could not stop myself from eating more. Um, it's, I don't care how strong you think you are, I thought I was gonna be totally fine. I, I thought I was gonna be okay. I coach people on this all the time and I still failed myself. So just don't even allow it one time or you will want that feeling over again. Let's think about the psychological aspect of what's going on here. You diet down, you reach your goal, you get leaner than you've ever gotten before. What is the reward of that? The reward is not to go out and binge eat a whole bunch of foods and be in surplus. That's not a reward, that's a punishment almost. I mean, the reward is the freaking body, the mind that you have, like knowing that you've done something harder than you've ever done before. That's the freaking reward. Don't piss that away by just doing the exact opposite of what it took to get there, you know? Take pride in what you've accomplished and stick with it. Sorry, I had to stop the recording. Somebody just walked up and they're like, how much for this camera? Sort of like talking to me while I'm filming. I'm busy here, y'all, I'm vlogging here. Um, Anyways, what was I saying? The importance of reverse dieting, the psychological aspect of it, take you know stock in what you just accomplished. That's the reward. You're not rewarding yourself by binging on a bunch of food that your body doesn't need. Going back in the first to place. what you just went away from. It's exactly. not worth it. Exactly. Now, on the flip side of that, taking this thing full circle, full circle, full circle here. What's this stuff got in? Is it just water? <laughs> <laughs> Take another uh, swig. All right. You are going to put on some muscle. You're going to put on some fat. Be okay with that. You know, if you're able to get, well, I probably have a whole separate video on this because it's a very important topic, but if you treat this like a cycle, you know, cycle down, cycle back up. This is not yo-yo dieting. This is like a healthy transition, kind of like cycling throughout the years. But if you cycle down, then cycle back up, and you put on more muscle and a little bit more fat, but you put on less fat than what you started with and you just keep cycling through that, that is totally okay, totally to be accepted, expected, and totally fine. You know, get to a healthy fat level, um, don't exceed that, but if you put on a little bit of fat while you start increasing calories, totally fine, totally normal, just embrace it as part of the process. Um, right? Mm -hmm. That's gonna require probably its own separate video because a lot of people are gonna take that and not really know what I mean by that. So we'll do a separate video on that specifically. Like we'll do a, an off season or like, I don't like to call it maintenance, but we'll call it something like that. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much my take on off boarding, reverse dieting, that whole shebang. Um, we're gonna keep drinking. The night is young and so are we. Cheers, now baby. He's, he's gonna take his thick chick home now. <laughs> take my thick chick home, my water. Um, <laughs> we'll catch y'all tomorrow. Take care.